Hello everyone, greetings from India. This is Nirbhay Chauhan from Make Lavya Self Learning Tutorials. Well, today we will be starting with the, our third tutorial, the part A, as this covering the different aspects <coughs> about placing different types of views basically. So, it will be a quite long video, that's why I divided into two parts. Uh, however, this video, both the individual videos will be also quite long, that's why it's better to have into two. So in the previous tutorial, we covered about all about the pages, uh, different aspects of the pages, creating this editable text for your own self and creating your custom template as well. So if you're interested and we haven't watched, if you haven't watched that video, just do watch that, the previous part of that 002 all about pages. So well, uh, this in this tutorial, we'll cover how basically you can insert the views, different views basically, of your BIM model, or you can say your architecture model, structure model, whatever actually is there in your BIM model, how you can actually take it onto the drawing nicely and in a very controlled manner without any mess. Fine. So this is your page. This is your BIM model. So as you can see on the left hand side, we have a building, then you have your level and then you have your BIM objects. These are your draft dimensions which are made in the draft. So we'll cover that in the further tutorials. Let's not focus on that. So this just focus on this hierarchy. So if you want to know more about the BIM hierarchy, basically, you can just uh, just go through our first tutorial of the BIM series. Uh, the link is given above. That basically covers about the proper BIM approach, how you can set up your entire model before beginning in the BIM workbench. Fine. So this is model in with that uh, respect. However, this is parametric also. As you can see, you have a spreadsheet here. So everything can be controlled from here. However, we won't be discussing that as there's already a pre-made tutorial for that uh, in the BIM series where you can parametric and control your model. So now basically we are interested in these components, wall, column, the parapet, the floor, these entire comprises of this particular level which we want to place in our sheet. So one mistake that you may do is that by clicking the building, then you try to insert the view. So that won't be possible. Either you can place your individual components as these are in the programming backend side, these are also part objects only. All the architectural objects are part objects. Or you can click on the level which comprises of this whole model, right? As we have only one level that you can push to your drawing. Now, how to push that? Uh, make sure you have clicked on your interested level, the part object, or if you want to have single uh, object, um, you can do by that also. Just select any group of objects that you want. But right now, interested in everything. So this is the group basically. So that in which we are interested in this particular level. So click on this, go to your page, and here the first option that you have, which says insert a view. Okay, uh, just be very careful. This thing basically will place the view exactly as a manner it is there in your 3D workspace. So the normal direction will be taken from here. So it's better to orient your model in the direction that you want, the top plane, the left, or the uh, plan or the front view. So let's go with the typical front view, which will become a basis for our further views. I'll show you how that in the uh, further. So we have taken the front view, we have selected the group, the level, and then I I go to page and then select this option. And then you can see my page has been inserted. If in case you're uh, facing the issue of the scale. Just do watch the very first video of this series, which covers the preferences of your tech draw workbench, uh, which basically defines the default scale. So now whatever view I will be placing, it will be in a particular scale. However, you can change the properties also, but it's better for uh, easy workflow. And then these are the frames, the green ones, by clicking on which I can drag this view. Suppose I'm placing it here. Okay. And if in case you want to switch off these frames, you can click on this red bar, which says toggle on or off the frame. But it is uh, helpful to 
navigate with the views however this green border won't be there in your print but it's better to have it for the easy judgment of the view and easy control now let's shift to the view properties here you have the orientation as you can change the orientation from here also okay and you can enter whatever uh, x series or the x dimension that you want in the sheet or the y so this is quite okay you can lock the position suppose i can keeping it true this adds a lock symbol here and it will help me to keep my view lock and now i can't move it it's good practice to keep the things lock when you're done with everything in the view then you have rotation right now we're not interested which is okay fine it will basically rotate the view suppose i'm going with 90 i'll just show you what will happen and i'll redraw and this has rotated your view fine so what i did i basically i'll just show you again i click on view i rechange to zero and to see the changes i'll just simply click on the redraw page that's it and your view is okay done further properties <clears throat> you have is a scale which is custom as as we are defined in our preferences already which you have seen in the first video which is 0 0.02 you can make it 0 0.03 and then redraw uh, but we are fine with 0 0 0.02 as we have some other views also to place here so just re-click here or you can click from the tree view as well and make it back to 0 0 0.02 moving forward you have the caption caption is basically your viewport actual name this view thing won't come in your print as you can see from here whenever you want to actually see the print view just simply toggle off the frames so for this you can enter a caption um, or you can change the view name label also here suppose i'll show you one thing here either you can enter the caption here suppose i'm entering abc and it will show me like this uh, but you want to navigate through your tree view also so for a good practice what you can do is you can change your label here <clears throat> you can write it as front view now you need not to just re-enter the caption here just make it live as you have seen in the spreadsheet workbench which you have done just click on this small fx thing here and just write the formula formula how to begin is the information you're fetching is from the front view so just write front view it will automatically fetch you and then the thing is label so from here we want to fetch the information so something has gone wrong here i'll just write it again front view wait 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 dot label i'll click ok and i'll just refresh and now you can see your caption has been also updated if in case i'm updating the label again i am saying it as um, 0 01 view and i'll just refresh read out the page and see it's live linked all right so it's better practice to keep it linked with the label and basically you can navigate through your tree view also so you know what what actually is this view so if in case i'm making it back to the front view so basically now i can know from the tree view also what the changes i'm exactly making and this is your print preview nice i'll switch on switch it back then you have properties um the course you uh this you can to make it true when you make it true the helpful dots won't be visible these dots are basically helpful if you want to take some measurements from the points however these dots, uh, dots won't be there uh, in your print this is actually just as the frames so make it just false then you have smooth visible which is true so you need to worry about that and we've also discussed these settings in the preferences the same visible the hard hidden is something which is required for you suppose you make it true and then you refresh you can see you can see the edges which are beyond that particular components also as you can see this wall is extending up its hidden line is also visible so this is essential when you are making some uh, very minute details so at that time you can take use of that 
but right now uh, we, we won't be needing that make we'll make it false then these settings are quite okay source as you can see from where exactly it is coming uh, the component name the direction of it uh, it's better to keep it like this only you can change but it will change the view orientation <clears throat> then you have perspective if i make it true it will just show you the perspective view like this okay so it's okay to have these type of views uh, to make it more aesthetics uh, but we'll go with the normal orthographic view as the standard is there in the drawing terminology so we'll go by this only it's look quite handy also and the view properties you have a section line style okay if you want to change but it's better to keep this properties add is as it is better the thing to change is in the preferences if in case the thing is quite needed you can change the width of the line from here the hidden width here okay but I won't recommend changing it here as there's things are quite okay fine if in case you have a very minute detailing then we can definitely take use of that so this was the first thing how you can basically insert the view now here you can see you have second option which says insert an active 3d view so this is something like taking a screenshot suppose this is my front view i want to place it like here only so what i will do is so this is only applicable if in case i've opened the view so we have opened this view i have tagged our workbench open i'll click on this option okay it will ask me all the overall width and height of the thing and the border which is fine and i'll render mode is as is as is it is fine and i'll click ok after clicking ok i go to page here you can see the active view uh, the problem which we have faced is about the overall size the size is quite small uh, this size basically if you want to change it again you need to you need to take the view again okay so this was quite small so i'll just show you how taking i will delete this go to your view click on this active view and here it is saying the width is something like here you can um, change it to suppose 50 the height you can change as 40 and rest of things are okay click ok when you go to page you can see your view here um, but the thing is basically this is quite static you can use it to create some picture or something but usage is not preferred this is not much useful also I just shown you in the terms of feature or whether you want to be just take a view just for a random purpose if you want to be quite lazy in that terms of point so it's beneficial but not for a dimension you can't snap anything or like these type of things so it's better to neglect this you won't be using much in your uh, routine then <clears throat> you have an option which says insert multiple linked views of the drawable object so this is very very helpful uh, thing for your use if in case you want to take the outer views basically so i'll show you how this thing happens make sure you are in your desired view suppose uh, i am going with the front view only here i'll just make it orientation front okay i'll go to page i'll select the object in the tree view which is a level or i can select the individual object but it's better to go with the overall building as we are mainly focusing so here you click on this option then in tech drop workbench inserting the multiple views so the first window which the uh, first view by default which you get is the parent view on the basis everything will be based right so the projection by default is third angle as per the Indian standard, you can go with first angle also okay scale is custom so the custom scale says 1 by 50 which is okay we are okay with it we can move it like this and the other views will be placed around this just like here you can see so you can change direction here if you want like the top it will get top view the front and the bottom okay go with the right view or you can go with the left view it's up to you okay we are going with the front view only so here the by default one tick is of the front uh, the main the major view if you click above this will give you a top view this will give obviously bottom view 
okay this gives you left view this is a right view okay so this basically helps you to take dimensions very uh, to take the views very quickly at a go the outer views basically and you can have some perspective view like this which can be <clears throat> very handy to you guys and then the back view here obviously perspective from this side or from this side okay and you can also adjust the spacing of the views in between the x spacing and the y spacing how they are basically getting placed so this is one approach uh, by which you can place your views if i suppose i'll just show you here i click apply and okay so this will basically place my views and i can readjust them the this major parent view will uh, take care of all the dependent views so if i'm moving this all the dependent views will be moved or i can individually move the secondary view also fine this is how uh, you place the components uh, with which you can say the inserting multiple views so what i can do is here let me take it a little bit down here as i can left with more space above or if in case if i have some space here i can move it here let's keep it here this looks nice here as a perspective view this front we can keep it here and then we can move it here so over these part views are placed very finely and then in the tree view basically you see this project view overall group and the front view and then the front top view the properties are quite similar all right uh, now the further thing uh, which we'll be covering now let me just adjust a little bit okay now in the <clears throat> next category you can see here is which is insert a section view this basically works earlier which we have seen this two option they work on your 3d model directly from here to there this section view basically works on one of your primary view suppose this front view i am interested in and then i can take sections of it and then it will generate the views dependent upon that suppose i clicked on this view the front view and i go to this option and I click here now it will say me where do i do i want to place a section so you can see this is our main view and how you want to place a section suppose i want to have a top section so this will be this one looking down obviously i click here okay uh, you can see quickly you see a view here let me just place it here for the time being or here this is okay find this is a top view and then scale you can change as per your convenience if you want uh, this section plane location this is basically this section plane location where it is cutting suppose the x is uh, fine the z location how i want to place it if i change x also it will become something like this here we are not interested we are interested in the z position so you can see it's moving lively in your 3d in, the, in your section view if i just reach above and then you can see in the top view here also you see some other walls as well okay so um let's go with the convenient view which is this one or this or if you go more above you can see your slab also and something like this and we are going beyond the uh, ratio here so we'll move it a bit down yeah we move it a bit down and we'll keep it here which was the idle position now another thing is identifier how you want to identify your section suppose i write it a okay it will show me as section a i click okay and then you can see here in the frame you see section a a 
and here also you will see in the frame which is section A. All right, so this is how uh, things are happening. Similarly, you can link the label as I told you earlier, which is quite fine. This label to this caption. Uh, okay, I'll show you quickly. So this is section AA dot label. I click OK, OK, and I'll read all the page, and you can see the section AA here as well. I don't know why this moved. I'll make it position here. So this is how you created your section as well. Now I can show you quickly a uh, vertical section also. I'll click re-click on this view, the parent view. I'll click on this create section. And this time I want the orientation looking to left side. I'll click here. So here you get your view. Okay. I can place it. It was fine here also. Okay. So I can relocate this to here. And this view I can relocate to here. Fine. And then the identifier I can give it as B. And I click OK. And then you can see in the frame you get identifier section BB the name here. And the identifier B. Here. Fine. So this is how you got your these views. Now the last one for this topic that we can discuss is the inserting of the detail, which is very very essential. Suppose I am interested in the detail of this particular column, this one. Okay, so I'll click on this section. Uh, the section name is AA. And then I'll simply click on this option insert detail view. And then this is the, uh, the title, uh, detail title of the view. And then where the radius of this, suppose I want to increase the radius, you can see the radius is increasing. So this is quite enough. Scale is uh, okay. Scale, I can keep it a little bit larger as I want to show detail. So it will be obviously bigger than this particular actual column I can see here. So I can make it as 04. But I'll change it later also. Then I can click on drag highlight and I can drag this view to here in which I am interested. Alright. And then little bit dramatical changes here of the Y position. Little bit of X as well. So you inserted your detail view also. Now the reference name one is OK and I click OK. After I click OK, you can see your detail view with the given scale has come here. OK. And this is how you place your detail view. And I can change the name <clears throat> from here as well. It was detail uh, one. So let me make it. Detail one. The caption, I can again change it to uh, just like the formula detail one dot label. And that's here you go. Now you redraw your page and you switch off the frames. This is basically moving. Let me just place it again. This is how beautifully you can. In a very easy manner, in a very straightforward manner, you can place your architectural BIM views or your structural model BIM views using your track draw worksheet. Alright guys, so uh, you do practice this thing. The file of this will be obviously available with this tutorial. And the next tool will be covering these aspects where we will see how you can insert a view from directly by cutting a section of your 3D BIM model or how you can insert that view, how you can insert the draft objects and then how you can insert a spreadsheet as well. Okay guys, so see you in next tutorial. Uh, this was Nirbhay Chauhan. Uh, take care. Goodbye. Thank you so much.